Hey guys, we're going to Paris. Paris! But are we really? We're actually going to be filming a fake video today where we're faking going on holiday and try and trick everyone on my social media and everything to show you that actually social media can be very fake and that you can actually, you know, lead a double life almost. Yeah, <laughs> fake your life on Instagram. Yeah. Nothing you see is real. Sometimes it is, but then sometimes it's not. Majority of the time yeah. it isn't. And there's sometimes a filter and Photoshop. So I thought this would be a really good video yeah. if we did it together yeah. so it looks more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't go on holiday on my own because I don't know anyone no, who does. I've, 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 I've never been on <laughs> if holiday. If I went on my own, they'd be like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, it'd be a bit weird. You've not taught your kids yeah, or your like, partner. Are you and up? What's happening? I'm like, yeah, I've just, just gone, gone on my own. Country, yeah. <laughs> but so I thought, my backstory here, I we've done alone together and we've decided to last minute go on a girly holiday before my 30th, so it's more believable. Yes. And I thought if we went together, it's again more believable. Yeah. So behind the scenes, I've been downloading like clips of airports and on an actual airplane looking out the window. So I've got everything like sneakily done already. And I will link all the vlogs down below that I have took these clips from, yeah. so that I'm gonna give them recognition as well. Yeah. Not everything's gonna be linked down below, so thanks for them, because they really did help me big time for this. First of all, I was at the gym and I came up with the idea the night before, but I didn't know how to like, you know, say it to her because yeah. I didn't want to sound crazy or anything. I was like, I've got an idea for a video. She's like, oh, okay, tell yeah, me. No, it was good. So I told her and she was like, oh my God, I love this. I've got this watch you could borrow. I've yeah. got this bag you could yes. borrow. I was like, yes, yeah. let's do this. And we yeah. kind of ran with it then. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be a good video to show you that like a social experiment in a way, what can be faked online. Yeah, it so, is, it's quite scary what can is, be faked. Yeah, really I, I've got quite a few people on my Instagram that you can just totally mm -hmm. yeah. tell yeah. it's fake. Some people you can really, oh, it's obvious. Yeah. And then some it's like, oh my gosh, is that real? And then you start getting kind of jealousy almost. I do especially. I think one of the hardest things though is being seen. Say yes. if you put, obviously we're gonna put on like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram that we're going away. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'll be driving <laughs> down the road cool. <laughs> with music on in the car and yeah people are going to see so obviously I'm not going to do that. I'm just yeah. that. <laughs> I think that's why we've been planning this like a week before. Yeah. So we've been taking clips and snaps before leading up to it instead of all on the same day which I've yeah. noticed a lot of people do on YouTube. They film the video but then they do it all on the same day and yeah. then they get caught out because things don't add up and yeah. they haven't planned for it. Yeah. We've always actually thought about it and we've planned things and we've just, we've, we're going to go to town, we're going to yeah. go to a French looking cafe and take pictures and selfies. So we've actually planned this. Yeah, <laughs> a good thing as well is you have hinted on Facebook already. Yeah, I've already dropped the hint. <laughs> was, it, was it yesterday or the day before? Yep. I think you put something like you really need a holiday. You really need a girly holiday to yes. get away or something. And I know I, know I love holidays. Yeah. Holiday. So I've kind of like planted the seed already yeah. just to let people wow. know that I'm thinking of it. Yes. And then when it comes out, blue, it's not going to be like, oh my gosh, like really yeah. shocked. Yeah. I mean, not even our families know. No one knows except us. <laughs> and then we're going to show you clips and that when we like film in for pictures of behind the scenes so you can get to see how we've like developed the video and then right at the end I'm going to put all the clips in order so you see the whole Snapchat, Snapchat yeah. story as it plays out so you can exactly see what everyone else has seen on our social yeah. medias and then you can be the judge down below if you think it looked real or fake or if you could tell it wasn't the real thing. Yeah. So this is going to be really fun. It is. <laughs> you watch someone on the first day will be like you're not really there. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm really like not looking forward to when they clock me out and like, this is fake, but oh no, I'm the first yeah. hurdle. I'm hoping that I actually blag it and everyone's like, oh my god, I can't believe you're there. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is our little intro to the video. I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. Yes. So for this one, I've just taken a clip from a vlog and I'll leave the link for this actual vlog in the description box below so that you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. But this is basically a few seconds, like a two or three second clip of her on the plane with her drinks and her passport and her phone. So it's just like this. So I thought this is what I'm going to do for my Snapchat just to show that I'm on the actual plane. And I'm going to crop out her hand because I think people will know that it's not my hand. So, and her name's on the cup. So what I'm going to do is like just do the edge of the cup here and the passport and the other drink and then the side of the plane. So I've saved it on Windows Movie Maker and I've saved it to Android Phone Large and that way it will fit the phone screen. But sometimes it still won't. So if I go back to the video now which I've saved which is the plain drink. It comes up with it here. 
and as you can see it's the whole width of the screen and not blacked out sides so this is okay for now but I'm going to go to my OneDrive account and send it through there so I'm just going to go and upload as you can see I've already got one of the plane like through the window and now I'm going to do the one with the drink so I'm just going to upload the footage find it first okay here we go plane drink upload and it should come right here next to the plane footage there we go so that's on there and then through my phone I'm going to download that and then crop it on an app I can't remember the name of the app but if I find it I'll put it on the screen and then I'm going to crop the video to a phone format so that it will go onto snapchat without looking like a widescreen video so that is what I do for the little clips so I'm going to download little clips like this and then just like put them on snapchat and make it look realistic basically and then add filters and gifs and stuff like that so that is what i'm usually doing for little clips we are getting ready for takeoff okay so this is my phone and this is the clip of the hotel room of the little room from the paris so you can see in the background you can see the picture of the eiffel tower so that is the footage i'm going to use for the room and it's only nine seconds long so i've put that into my editor and downloaded it and then I added this to my OneDrive account. Now I'm just going to save the footage. I'm going to go onto the app called Crop and Trim Video. I'm going to Crop and Gallery and then I'm going to find the video of the room. So this is the room in Paris and then you can literally have it any size you want. I'm going to go to Portrait so this is the size for Portrait and then you can adjust and that way you can post it to Snapchat or Instagram stories, anything like that. So I think I'm going to go in the middle and then that's how it comes off as. So you can go through the room and it shows the Eiffel Tower. So I feel like that is a good one. So I'm going to save that. And then once that is saved, I can then add that to Snapchat. These are the saved videos so far. So click on play. And this is the full screen from mobile. So that way when you post it on Snapchat or Instagram stories, it looks realistic. This is our cafe area. As you can see, I've set up the backdrop here and don't mind the washing machine noise in the background. But this is just a little setup area for our fake cafe in France. So as I can see, I've just done like a French looking backdrop, um, a table with a cloth and some like clear cups for coffee or tea and then I'm going to put some like food in the middle and make it look like we're at a little cafe <laughs> and then like the little candle here. I tried to make it as simple as possible by just putting a simple flower, um, a little tea light and then like a coffee duster thing and then just some cups and then I'll bring the two chairs down and we can do like a selfie here. <laughs> so it looks like we're sat in a little French cafe. I'm in Iceland and I found these which are macaroons so they're perfect so I'm going to grab a box of these. So I have a couple of croissants here and I've got some macaroons as well and then I have a plain empty white box tent and make it look pretty and more presentable. Sarah can't make it today so I'm just going to do this one on my own and try and convince people that she's actually here with me. <laughs> so what I've done is I've put her chair here with like a little jacket and a bag so it looks like she's popped to the toilet and I am like taking a photo. So here I have just my handbag at the back and then I have two, two cups of teas and some croissants and then a box of macaroons all set up ready to go so this is a little cafe area i think this is pretty convincing and i think i'll be able to pull this one off so fingers crossed so i'm going to take a selfie on my phone via snapchat and make this look as realistic as i possibly can so i've already lit the candle ready and i'm just going to put the rose crown fawn like filter on because it's my favorite and glow it so maybe this way So this one just looks like a table shot, so I took one of the table like this and I'm saving that to my phone. And I took one from the other side, different angles, so it looks like it's more, you know, forward facing. So I'm saving that one as well. One more showing the handbag so I can see that the chair is there. That one's a bit better. So you can see more of the placement setting and the table and a chair on her side. So I like that. And then I'm going to take one of the actual table, so facing down to the table now. And I'm going to get a shot of her chair. 
with the table and everything. I'm going to cut the table legs out because I think that looks ugly. And then just take one from an angle that looks good. There. So that is one of the table. I'll include the pictures in a minute so you can actually see properly. I'm now going to do like a little video still of the macarons and everything because it's what I normally would do. So I'm just going to do a little quick video still. And then I made it on silent and I've put the little video up as well so I'm going to save that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I've got loads to choose from and I think this will look good for like the first official day around Paris. I think this will be a good little number to go from and then we can do another food one later on and then Sarah will be in that one. But for this one, I thought we'd do this placement setting because I've already set up and I think this looks good. So I think I've just about pulled it off. <laughs> but this is how it looks like. So I'm actually done with this table setting. <laughs> so we're just about to take the Eiffel Tower selfie picture with her glasses on. <laughs> so we're gonna angle it up so we've got most of the clouds in it and then we can try and blend it in the picture. So we wanna angle hard. it like this. Oh, quite like behind us there. Why did I look like that? She's like, where? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Okay, so this little clip is just going to be explaining how I did the audio and the sound effects for the clips. So I was thinking the other day after editing the clips together that it looks realistic and it looks believable in my opinion, like just my opinion. Um, I think it looks realistic. So I was watching it back and I was like, hmm, it looks good, but it doesn't sound right. Like everything's on silent. Um, and if I was in, I was trying to think if I, if I was actually in Paris and I was Snapchatting and recording everything, um, I'm pretty sure when I'm doing some videos, I'd have audio in it, like, oh my God, sort of thing. So I mentioned this to Sarah and we went into the, my garden, my back garden, really funny. And we recorded some like wind effect, like just spinning, I span around in a circle, trying to get some wind noise on the phone. And we did a little like audio where we did like voiceover and I recorded it on my phone, like the, vo the vo voice recorder to record a little something, just us pretending to see the Eiffel Tower and saying, oh my God, look how big it is. It's huge. Like, I can't believe we're here. I'm so excited. So we had all that like audio footage. And then I saved that and downloaded it and posted it to my OneDrive and then downloaded it again and then edited it into the video clip so you could see like the Eiffel Tower video and then have the audio effect on it and then the wind noise so it looks official if that makes sense. I will add a few examples after this so you can see what I mean. I just thought I'd explain it a little bit so you can understand like what I've done because when I watched it back it looks so real so I'm really really happy with that so definitely sound effects are a must if you really want to trick someone so I think this has turned out for the better um, without the audio I feel like we would have probably got like you know guessed like someone would have guessed by now and said this is this has got to be fake this has got to be for a video but because there's audio in it I think it could actually fool some people so um, I just thought I'd come on quickly and explain what I did. So we did like a voice recorder and then add it to the clips. So just a few clips. Some of them are going to be like muted because I don't feel like every single one needs to be because sometimes I do mute things. Um, there's like car footage vlogs as well. So I need to put them clips up and then get some footage or audio of inside a car. So next time I'm in Sarah's car with her, I will record the noise of the car naturally <laughs> so a lot to do um i've been editing non-stop for like a week and a half two weeks now and i'm tired i've not getting any sleep but i really want to put all my effort into this video and make it look really really good so i hope you're enjoying this so far just thought i'd come on quickly and explain what i was doing We're heading to paris i can't wait to get there we'll see you there guys we are getting ready for takeoff cute that is massive I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so today is suitcase packing day, the official like night before. Um, I'm really excited to film this one. This one's just gonna be a quick little Snapchat like video just showing you that I'm packing my suitcase ready to go on holiday. Where so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I've got the suitcase ready to go. So this is my suitcase. I've put it on the bed ready and I've just put a couple of items in it so it looks like I'm starting to pack. 
and a few little bags as well that I would put like makeup in and makeup brushes and toiletry stuff. So I've just put these in. I'm gonna put a pair of shoes in as well. If I was actually going to Paris, I'd take some like nicer things with me. So I'm gonna take these heels because they've got little diamantes on and they're really pretty. So I'm gonna put them just there for now and then I'm gonna do the little snapshot story. I have my passport here as well so I can show this with the suitcase and then it looks more believable. So I'm just gonna put a filter on and I'm gonna start doing the little video. So this is only gonna be like a quick one. I start from the edge of the suitcase and like hover over and then show the passport as well. So I'm just packing my suitcase and ready to go. I am so excited, I cannot wait to get there. I have my passport all ready. So I'm just packing my suitcase and ready to go. I am so excited, I cannot wait to get there. I have my passport all ready. So that's a little Snapchat video all done and yeah, let's move on to the next stage. So today is a, another day and I've tried to make my outfit the same as when I took the Eiffel Tower picture so it looks like the same day, hopefully. So I've tried to curl my hair the same sort of way and the same sort of makeup and the same top. I'm going to put my jacket on that I wore that day too. Um, I have my passport and my selfie stick because we're going to go to a coffee shop in town where I live and make it look like we've had a selfie in the coffee shop. So that is what I'm going to try and do with Sarah today. And I have my suitcase so I can bring it around town and like wheel it around so it looks like I'm wheeling it around the airport. So that is the what I'm trying to result today. I'm also going to get a few like pictures while we're in town. We're next to some flowers, like we're walking around Paris videos like that and also a little video clip of us driving in the car like to the airport so that is today's agenda um i'm not going to vlog too much because we ain't got a lot of time today so i'm just going to show you the pictures and the videos we did afterwards so yeah i thought i'd let you up to date of what i'm doing today so that is the plan of action <laughs> Hi guys, so we're back from Paris. How do you think it went it was from cool. your end? I liked it, it was yeah. good, yeah. From my end, it was good, I'd say, but I did cut it very, very short. I don't know if you know it's yeah, like I yeah. cut it a little bit short, only because I wanted to like wrap it up, get the video done, I'm so excited to put it up. I did realise that this is fake, this is like for a video. Like, like not even a handful of people. Yeah, but most people did actually believe it was true. Yeah. And like, oh my God, yeah. well done, congratulations, yeah. whatever. Yeah. They were like supportive. They didn't want to just automatically stop yeah. and not post anything and just go to people. Yeah, it'd be a bit weird. Yeah, because yeah. they'd be like, well, where's the rest? Well, why just stop? It makes no sense. So I thought, right, I'll try and wrap it up as quick as I can. And because of the morning posts, I did like a breakfast post. I thought, and then I did shopping ones. Yeah. So I was like, I can't yeah. just stop automatically when I've been posting so many already. So I tried to make it quick and like quickly. So I was like, right, we'll go to the museum. Yeah, yeah. Do that one, yeah. and then straight from there we'll go to the airport. And that's how our yeah, day was. Yeah, yeah. That I suppose that if you're going <laughs> for a quick weekend, that's how you do it. To be yeah, because otherwise it was going to stay two days and then leave the Sunday morning. That's how yeah. I was going to do it. But then I, we left middle of Saturday day. Yeah. So you did it well. Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed quiet. But that's the thing. You're not very like. Posting, no. I mean, I post so much yeah. all the time. I post everything, even if I just go to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. If I just go for a coffee, I'm like, we're at Starbucks. Yeah. Like, I'm just grabbing a coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're not one of them people that has constantly got the camera and yeah, I'm no. not on my phone. Yeah, no. it looks like it, but I'm not. No, you're not. Like, I'll take a quick snap, post it, yeah. and put it down, straight down. Like, times out of ten, when we're together. Not got exactly phone. unless we're like at Starbucks and we're quick, yeah, quick which is fair enough, and then which we put it down at all. Yeah, which is fair enough. <laughs> it mostly went really good. I was quite proud of this video. I think it, it took a lot of time and preparation and planning this Did. and all the editing I've done. Oh my gosh, I've had sleepless nights trying to get videos to look yeah. realistic as possible. The one thing that kind of gave it away for my brother and his wife Holly was the fact the passport that I did a picture with. Oh, was it that? With. It was a passport. Because it's, a, I haven't been on holiday in years, I don't know. Um, no, they I had a, re a renewed passport recently because they went away for the honeymoon, I yeah. think it was, or after the honeymoon. And they said on the front of the passport is now a chip. Oh. And you don't have to look at the picture anymore inside. They just yeah. scan the chip or something yeah. like that. And mine didn't have it, and it was just a regular old passport. Mm. So they said that gave it away. It's not a renewed passport because there's no chip. But that was the first red flag. And then after that, I would say it was the taxi. Yeah, wasn't it the picture? Yeah, we yeah. was in Paris, and we at the airport just left the airport. So I went to get a taxi to the hotel, and I thought, right, 
we're in the, I've got a car video inside the car, like yeah. looking out the window. That was a good I mean, video. Like, that was a good video. Yeah, and I thought maybe if I do a picture of the taxi and it looks French, they'll think, oh, they're actually in Paris. Yeah. So I went onto Google quickly and I typed in French taxi. So I got a picture from that and posted it, but Holly somehow figured out it was from Google. I don't know how, but she found out it's from Google and she goes, this looks familiar. And I was like, oh crap, no, she's caught me again. Yeah. I think they were the only two like hiccups in the road that kind of gave it away yeah. for them. There was like, this doesn't make sense because this is from Google. We've mm. seen this picture and the passport's obviously not up to date. George knew as well. Yeah, George he kind did. of knew because we did. needed him for the pass for the uh, picture of the Eiffel Tower. He did Photoshop yeah. it for us. Yeah. I can't Photoshop to save my life and we didn't know anyone else that could no, do it. No. We searched everyone and the only person I knew that was handy with that was George. So I thought, right, I'm gonna have to tell him get him on the act and ask for help yeah, and he, he did, he really, person, he did okay. really help us there. We just kept posting and posting and then I think I got a few comments from like my granddad Chris, he completely and utterly believed I was there. Did he? He, um, he replied to the story of us in the car saying on the route to the airport, he put bloody fan fantastic, fantastic and bloody fantastic and I felt so proud of, oh bless him. See, that's another thing, right, <laughs> obviously I knew it was fake but in the car you took the video and it was raining yeah well, that day it wasn't raining ah see i didn't notice that yeah i didn't even click on yeah that. it was raining because we did that on a weekend yes didn't we? we did oh that's a good idea and it was raining i didn't notice that the um hotel breakfast area i googled swapped them and then like cropped them and put them on yeah. snap so it makes it look like i've actually took the picture and then i explained to granddad chris that it's for a video because i felt guilty because he's my granddad and I felt really guilty and I was like, I told him what it was for and he put, you little tinker. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> so he actually really believed it and we did the audios for some of the videos, didn't we, like in the garden. <laughs> we was like, oh my God, look at it, that so cute. amazing. <laughs> it was so funny. I know, I wish we filmed the behind the scenes for that. All we got was the audio, but that was hilarious. It was. Just but I do spinning have spinning in the garden. Just spinning, getting wind noise. Yeah. <laughs> I have a friend called Rachel, she put vlog because she was seeing the snaps, so she wanted me to vlog yeah. it. Because so, um, it was so real. Yeah. The videos that you put up, like, of the waiters coming in the room with the <laughs> food, it looks so real. I don't even know where you found that. And I've got a guy here, just, I don't even know who he is, but he <laughs> heart eyes the picture, so that, thank you. <laughs> That's amazing, his picture was amazing. <laughs> People commenting on it saying, hope you're having a lovely time. And then I had another subscriber here saying, have a good time, but be safe. I told my cousin Emma as well, but no way with a laughing emoji. She put, I literally can't believe that. I was so convinced you got me, haha, <laughs> hilarious, can't believe it. It was, it was so convincing. And then I told my cousin Charlotte as well, because she was being supportive, and I told her exactly what I told Emma. And then she put, wow, nice one, well done, you're very clever. Um, being able to do that, well done you. So I did fool quite a yeah. few people, like most of my family, did actually think I was right there in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> See, I only put literally one post on Instagram. Yeah. Three pictures. I got 10 likes. Yeah. And my best friend, she was like, oh my God, bitch. <laughs> you know? And um, I messaged her last night because she, she's got an appointment. I said, you know, let me know how it goes. Yeah. And she went, I can't believe you went <laughs> to Paris. Like, that is so random. My stepdad, he liked my Instagram post. Yeah. A few hours later, I went round to his and, it, and he saw her and he didn't even ask. No, no, it just goes straight <laughs> over, over his head. head. Yeah, so <laughs> I had one incident with people. Brookie. We went to the corner shop for milk, yeah. and uh, while I was going there, we bumped, well, we did bump into, but we saw one of Ian's mates on his motorbike and he drove past us, and he's been seeing all the posts. Oh. So he automatically knew I wasn't in Paris. So he went to Ian's and went, "Yeah, I've just seen Jess. She's not in Paris." Did he? And, he, and then Ian, Ian knew about it and he yeah, tried to oh, yeah, quiet. Yeah. But he did slip once, he was on the Xbox on TeamSpeak on talking to his mates. And it was all like, oh, we've been seeing your posts from your missus, she's in Paris, have you got the kids? Like, questioning him. Because I think they asked first, where's Jess? He went, she's here, why? Because he got confused. Yeah, and I, was, yeah. I like, hit him with a pillow, I was like, shut up, shut up, don't say anything. He's like, and he started laughing because he couldn't help yeah. it. Like, Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot mate, she's in Paris. I was like, how could you forget? <laughs> I was like, you just blew it. <laughs> how could you forget? Yeah, it was so funny. in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> so 
but I think that's mainly it. So our thoughts on it, I think it went pretty well, to it be honest. Better for than the first expected. one. I'm gonna post everything in order after this shot so that you can see how the whole story went. And then you can comment down below if you think it looks realistic or if you believe that it's obviously fake. Yeah. Obviously you can't comment down below anymore because YouTube have disabled comments for some reason. So let me know on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter what you think of the video. I'd love to know your opinion. Or you can add me on Snapchat, I'm always on. Everything's down below li listed, so just go ahead and check me out. But yeah, we had a really good fun video. Good. We really enjoyed it. I don't think I'll be doing one for a long, long time because it's no. very tiring. It was very stressful for you. <laughs> yes, I'm very you stressed. You were up until like <laughs> four o'clock most. Yeah, I was not getting any sleep. No. But I'm happy with it in the end. So hopefully this is going to go up the same day today. I'm going to get it up today, bang it out. And yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed our little fake holiday trip to Paris. Yeah. And we'll see you all guys next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. So I'm just packing my suitcase, ready to go. I am so excited, I cannot wait to get there. I have my passport all ready. That is massive. I can't believe it. We're here. Oh my god. Hey.